for another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I'm glad to be in the house. You glad to be in the house? Amen. I don't know what you came to do, and I don't know why you came to do it. But if you're not here to get your praise on, you're in the wrong place. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I am so happy to be in the house of the Lord. And um, it's just been another long week. And we're halfway through May already. It's just hard to, to, to get a grip on that. This is May 16th, 2021. But God has allowed us to be here in the house, be alive, and all is well. And we give God the glory for that. Amen. Amen. So let's just let go and let God today. Um, um, those of you watching us on social media, we give God the glory for you on today. Being able to worship with the Greater Faith Christian Church family. This is Greater Faith Christian Church. Our motto is without faith. It is impossible to please the Lord. I am a God pleaser. Anybody a God pleasers up in here? Anybody just trust God besides me? Yeah, well, we're going to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to get my praise on. Amen. Amen. You got a lot of room right now. If they come, let them come. If they don't come, it's all good. You are here. And we give God the glory for that. Amen. How many of y'all know that there's victory in Christ Jesus? There is victory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Yeah! 
come on. Praise is what I do. Is what I do. Yeah, Lord. Praise is what I do. Worship the Lord in here. 
God inhabits the praises of his people. Worship God in here. Bless him because he's good. Bless him because he's mighty. Bless him because he's wonderful. Praise him because he's God. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. Beautiful Savior. You've been good to us. We magnify your name. Hey. Heaven and earth is full of your glory. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Glory to your name. Hey, I must say. Hey, I Hey, glory to your name. Yeah. Yeah. When we all get together, what a day of rejoicing that will be. That's what I hear. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. Come on, when we all get to heaven. Hey, what a day. We will sing and shout the victory. Hey, when we all what a day when we all see Jesus. We will sing. Lift him up. Lift him up, still he speaks from eternity, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Lift him up, lift him up, still he speaks from eternity. Come on, put your hands together. Lift him up. Lift him up. Thank 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We give honor to God. Amen. Who is the head of our life? We bless God for those of you that are here. We bless God for our shepherds. Amen. We bless God. Amen. For the ministerial staff and for the lay members, the teachers, the mothers, the missionaries, evangelists, pastors, preachers everywhere. Come on and bless the Lord. Amen. Because he's good. Come on. He said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men. We can't throw anybody if we're not lifting him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I thank God, amen, for the opportunity to stand before you, amen. And before I read the scripture, I just want to say this. On last Sunday, God told me to say something and I didn't say it. He said, accept what God allows. And I just, I, I didn't say it because I, I, I was disobedient. Pastor Teresa, I was. And this morning in Sunday school, it came back to me. He said, they're talking to you. And, and, and I just want the church to know. I want the church to know. Me, me. See, I'm the church. You're the church. And you've got to learn to accept what God allows. And whatever he say to say it, we have to say that, amen, because we are held accountable. Amen. And I just, I just, I appreciate God for his word. I really do. I appreciate God for Pastor, amen, Pastor Teresa, amen, for Minister Mario, amen, for Sister Evangelist Kenda. I bless God for the mothers of the church, for the men of the word, you know, the men of God that are here today, amen, each and every one of us, every one of us should be leading somebody to Christ. Every day you get up out of your bed, you should say, thank you, Lord, let me find somebody that I can minister to. We all got a testimony. We all got a witness. So it's time to begin to be about God's business. Because my fervent prayer for this house is that God will send laborers into this place. The Bible said the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. We don't want to do what God say do. We want to do us in this time out for doing us. Jesus. Mm, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, have mercy. Uh, 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 thank you, Jesus. I, 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 I was put up here to read the scripture. And I'm, I, I'm obedient. I'm obedient. And I want you to grab a Bible, grab your cell phone, whatever you got. Go to Luke, the first chapter. If you got a cell phone, you got a Bible. I heard somebody say that on YouTube. Luke, chapter 1. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to start at the 68th verse. Verse 68. If you got to say I'm there, if you don't say, hold on. Hallelujah. Let us begin. Verse 68 reads thusly. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Mm, thank you, Jesus. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thy child shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us. He's still here, y'all. <laughs> to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his showing unto Israel. Can the church say amen? Amen. 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 
Amen. I want each and every one of us, amen, to pray today. Amen. If you've got a mouth, if you can get words out, I want you to pray. Because sometimes we need to pray for ourselves. A lot of times we want pastors to pray for us, but the Lord want to hear your voice. A lot of times we don't get what God has for us because we don't say nothing. We want somebody else to say it for us. Let us pray. Righteous and eternal God, our Father. Lord, we thank you right now, Father God. Lord, we thank you for how you brought us from this place, Lord God. Last week you brought us here again. Today there's a reason for it all, Father. Lord God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for the shepherds of the house, Father God. Lord, we thank you that they are leading the people to the cross, Father God. Father, we just want to tell you thank you one more time, oh God, for our loved ones, Father God. Lord, we are asking you in the name of Jesus that you will have mercy on us according to your loving kindness, Father God. Blot out our transgressions, oh most high God. Father, we all have sinned and fallen short of your glory, God. Lord, we are asking you right now in the name of Jesus that you will refresh us, oh God. Refresh preachers everywhere, Father God. Refresh saints everywhere, most high God. Father, we are calling on you right now, Lord God. That you will walk around this room in the Holy Spirit, oh God. And that you will light on every person in this room, oh God. Give them to understand that it is time to turn from their wicked ways and begin to seek you first while you may be found. Every listener under my voice, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will come to the realization that it is time now to run, Lord God, because time is winding up, Father God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are coming to you right now, Father God. As humble as we know how, God, we're asking you, Master, that you are moved by your spirit in our homes, oh God. Move in hospital rooms, oh most high God. Move in sick rooms everywhere, Father God. Somebody need a healing, oh God. Right here, right now in this place, Father God. Show yourself mighty, oh most high God. In the name of Jesus. Show your power, Lord God. That the Holy Ghost is here now, Lord God. And if they want to receive it, all they got to do is surrender. Repent. Give themselves over to your master. In the name of Jesus. Father, we cry now, right now, Father God. But that man, that woman, that boy, girl, Father God, who is battling cancer, Father God. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus that cancer got to go. Diabetes got to go. High blood pressure got to go. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you right now, Lord God, that we're a few accident, incident, no enforcement, and a failure, Lord God. And I come in, I go in, Father. You said in your word, oh God. Watch over us, God. And we believe your word, Father God. Lord, we are asking right now, Father God, increase the faith, oh God, for those that don't believe, Master. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now, Lord God, that you are blessed, Lord God. Bless the children, oh God, that they may learn, oh God, from their parents, Lord God, from their peoples, oh God. That you are the way to do the life, Father God. If they can't get it in the schoolhouse, let the parents begin to teach the children, oh God. It's time, Lord God, that they know who you are, God. That they can call on you, Father God. In the name of Jesus. And you shall come. You will come. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Father, we're crying out to you right now, Lord God. That you're moving, God. God, of that woman, Lord God, that just found out, Lord God, she got cancer behind her eye, God. Do a miracle for her, oh God. Perform a mighty miracle in her life, oh God. Touch my daughter, God. Touch her right now, Father God. Let the gallstone be shrinking right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch my sons, oh God. Touch the sons that belong in this house, Father God. Let them know it's time to come on in. Come on in. God. Let them know it's time to turn, 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 turn. Oh, Jesus. No, we're asking you now, Lord God. Help us, oh God. Let us go to you, Father God. So close, oh God. That we can feel your presence, Master. That we can smell your sweet aroma, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you now, God. Forgive me my sins, oh God. God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that your Holy Spirit, oh God, will rest rule and abide in this house. And every house that's in the name of Jesus, every house that calls on you, 
Jesus. Let your spirit flow, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You ought to believe right now. You ought to believe right now. We would not be shaken. We would not be moved. We're going to stand on the rock of our salvation. And the word of God will forever keep us if we believe. If we believe. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul be yes, Lord. He is worthy, worthy to be praised. He is worthy, worthy to be praised. He is worthy, worthy to be praised. You ought to praise him right now. You ought to praise him right now. You ought to give him glory. You ought to give him glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Put your hands together, church. I don't care who you are, what you believe. Put your hands together. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. You ought to be praying to God right now. Yes, Lord. But you get somebody in here that been killed last night. Church. Welcome to our live services via website, gfccaz.org, or Facebook Live under Greater Faith page. These are our announcements for this Sunday, May 16th, 2021. Our Sunday services are Intercessory Prayer, which starts at 8.30 a.m. Sunday School starts at 9 a.m. The number to call in to participate in both prayer and Sunday School is 605-313-313. 4829. Access code is 106-5014-POUND. Sunday School is on Google Meet and the code to get access is THI-AUHG-KCG. Our church doors are open for anyone who would like to worship at 2819 West Maryland in Phoenix, Arizona. Morning services is at 10 a.m. sharp. Greater Faith Birthdays, Isaiah Sunderland, May 14th. Janelle David, May 16th. There are no anniversaries. If you are interested in signing up for Hebrew Judaism classes, go to BeConfidentInYourFaith.com website or contact Jennifer at this number or text 484-297-6993. We have to always be in a learning mode to increase our faith. Amen? These are all my announcements on this beautiful Lord's Day and my closing scriptures coming from 1 John 2, 16, 17. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life isn't the Father's, but is the world's. The world is passing away with its lust, but he who does God's will remains forever. Amen. God bless. Enjoy service. Amen. Come on again. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise this morning.
Let's say, give the Lord a hand of praise this morning. Amen. We do praise God for his goodness, his blessings toward us. And we don't take this lightly or for granted. We have a place to come and worship the Lord, and we praise God for that. Hope and pray all is well with you on today, as well as it is for me. Anybody got a tired spirit this morning? See, got two up front, even though, oh, got three. Yeah, but you know, I'm, 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 you know me, I'm just as real as they come. Yeah, I am exhausted today, but I just woke up tired this morning. But that ain't stopped me from coming to get my praise on. I know a lot of people like, oh, I'm just tired. I'm just not going to make it today. If God had things the way we had things in place, we would really be in trouble. When we act like we tired and dragging our feet. I bet you some of those people that's tired and dragging their feet today are going to get up and go to work in the morning. I don't even go a step further. If they still doing that virtual stuff, they'll get up, drag their feet to go to that computer and turn it on. How come you can't press your way for Jesus? Don't you think it's over time that we stop asking folks that question? Come on, talk to me. He, he, and, and then what I love about him, it didn't need to take him that long to make the world and, and, and make us. And, 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 and he didn't even have to rest, but he showed us that, look, y'all, we are flesh. We need to rest sometime, but when it's time to worship God, that is not the day. I, I, I love it. I mean, it could just be just three of us. I remember, I remember, uh, uh, Mama Hibbert when, and, and, and Deacon Hibbert when we was at the hotel when sometimes it was just three, four, or five of us. But that didn't stop us. We started on time. We worshiped God. We did all we could to let God know how much we love him, how much we appreciate him, how I couldn't do nothing without him. That's the mindset I have. I'll always have this mindset. You know, and then somebody, well, uh, I'm not as strong as you. Uh, well, just keep on living. You're going to need the Lord. You're going to need him. I'm telling you, you're going to need him. And, and don't feel bad because you turn your back on him. Don't feel bad not to call on his name because he still yet loves us. He still waits on us to make up our mind to do what thus says the Lord. I, I just love the Lord today. I really do. And uh, with, with so much going on in the, wor in the world today, I, I just give God the glory. You know, you see what's going on in Israel, you know, and, and Palestine. They're fighting with each other. And everybody that reads the Bible know what's going on. You know, and everybody's scratching their head, wondering, don't know that they just didn't open their word. That's all. And, and, and so we, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray that prayer every day. They shall prosper that love thee. That's Psalms 122 and 6. Me and First Lady pray that prayer every day. Every day without fail. We've been doing it for years now. You know, and then I remember one time First Lady came and said, Do you know when you when we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you you help you helping to usher in the, the end time. You you asking the Lord to come. Yeah, well, that's 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 the hey, Well, I was just being obedient because that's what the word said. But if you when you, when you really look at it for what it is, that's a true statement. So we give God the glory. As long as you're here, give God praise. The good times and the bad times. Oh, I've had good days and I've had bad days, but I had God. I had Jesus in my bad days. So I get through the bad days because I had Jesus. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's why we're here, because all of us are going to have bad days. You know, and they say, ooh, the devil is a lie. Don't say that. No, that's the problem. That's why we're going to have bad days, because of the devil. The roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. As a roaring lion, the Bible says. You know, that's, you know, like we on his domain, because God kicked him out of heaven. He came flat, head first, down here on the earth. Yeah, yeah, the small G-O-D. And the world just sucking it up. But we serve a God and his name is Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. 
Again, we welcome you to Greater Faith Christian Church. Those watching on social media, we say God bless you. We love you with the Lord Jesus Christ in our hearts and in our minds for you on today. Uh, with that being said, do we have a guest here in the house? We want to acknowledge him. Um, there he is. Look, we want to acknowledge him. Where is uh? Huh? Say it again. She said, "My wife said you're gonna be." You said you're gonna be surprised when I find out who it is. I, when he opened his mouth, I feel. Tell everybody your name and where I know you from, James. Oh. Uh. My name is James Jacobs. Oh, yes, I know James Jacobs. <laughs> I'm, I'm I know uh, his wife, too. <laughs> I'm from <laughs> Bip. This is funny, because before you said, since I know you, I'm about to start talking yeah. now. Last time I saw you was at the prayer at, 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 uh, at Skyway. Was that you? Probably. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> I don't Go quite, ahead. quite remember, so... It's good to see you, sir. Thank you. How's everything with you? It's going good. Good, good. Yeah, God yeah. is good to you. Oh, God is. He just keeps on blessing me. Mm. Yeah. God is so good. Yes, he is. Yes. I thank you for his mercy and his grace. That's a good one, right? That's what I think of for every day. His mercy and his grace. Anybody can relate to Brother Jacob? Yeah, oh, well, my God. When, when I got in here, I was just standing. I was nearly in the spirit, just dancing away. And I just knew it was the presence of God. It came all over me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the God. Glory Lord. be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's good to see you, sir. God bless you. It's good to see you. Where do where, where you see him? Y'all see each other all the time? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad she, they brought you here today to see me. It's good to see you. Understand. He was, but timing, God timing is always right, ain't it? Come on, give the Lord a good hand of praise for our brother here today. Amen. Amen. Everybody else's family, we praise God for you on the day. Uh, birthdays. I didn't know, Miss Janelle, if you're watching, happy birthday. We'll serenade you when we see you. Um, Prophet Henry D. Sauls, today is his wedding anniversary. So if you're watching, happy anniversary. Prophet Henry and Trish out there in South Carolina, Greenwood, South Carolina. We praise God for you all. I married them. It was a beautiful Saturday. Waterfalls was going behind us. We just had a good time. And today is their anniversary. So We'll shout out to them on today. God bless. Keep my, my niece lifted up before the Lord. Not my, yes, my niece. She was in a bad car accident. Uh, we got the news, what, uh, Monday. Uh, had an ICU. Uh, so just keep her lifted up before the Lord. Would you do that for me? Amen. Amen. What you saying, sir? Your grandmother passed away last Tuesday. Oh, well, we keep y'all lifted up before the Lord. Uh, earth have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. I pray God's comfort and peace over y'all family right now during this time. Um, uh, was, was grandma here? She was in Memphis? Did, oh, is she? Were you able to see it uh, online? Okay. Well, I got y'all lifted up in prayer. I got y'all. I love y'all. Y'all know that. Yeah, my, my brother, uh, good to see you, man. Good to see you. You ain't bring your sister-in-law? I see she didn't come today, huh? You tell, tell, tell her, well, well, is tomorrow the anniversary for her? It's this month. She got, how many years is it? One year or ten? One year. Man, no, I have to tell you. I'm, I'm going to let her tell y'all. I'm going to let her tell y'all. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to let her tell y'all. So I, I'm just celebrating in my spirit right now for her. She is a walking miracle, y'all. And y'all know when y'all hear her testimony, all right? All right, we praise God for you. So let's, at this time, let's fellowship one with another. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arm. Thank you. 
Amen. Father in heaven, we come today, Lord. Thanking and praising your name. All the praise, the glory, the honor, it all belongs to you. We don't take it lightly for granted, Lord, that we're able to worship you, Lord, freely and openly. That's what I love, Lord. There were times in the past where people, and still today, uh, have to go underground to worship you. But we're able to worship you in spirit and in truth, openly letting the world know that you are Lord to the glory of God our Father. We thank you, Father, this morning in the name of Jesus that we're able to speak to your people, Lord, today. And we ask, Lord, that you will use me for your glory at these few minutes of the time that you blessed us with, Lord, today. We ask that you will speak through me, Lord. And, and I pray, Lord, that I will say something that will bless and inspire to your people, Lord, this morning that's listening in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that something I might say to, to someone that don't know you and a part of their sin that want to know, well, how do I get a taste of this Jesus? How can I get a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? Lord, touch their hearts, souls, and minds. Have them come crying. Lord, what must I do to be saved? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have your way in me, Lord, today. None of me, Lord, all of you. Not for no shape, form, or fashion, but for you to get the glory. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh, Lord, my strength, my redeemer. We ever careful to give your name to praise. Ask it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The church said amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord a hand praise again. Amen. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Glory to God. Amen. Let's give our ministers of music a good God bless you this morning. God bless you. Amen. Amen. This morning, if you have your Bibles, we're doing well. It's just seven minutes before the hour this morning. If you have your Bibles, go with me to the first chapter of First Peter. First Peter, the first chapter. Mm. The 22nd verse is for your hearing this morning. I'm in the King James Version this morning. Evangelist, since she loved her King James Version. <laughs> it reads, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart, fervently. Fervently. See that you love one another with a pure heart, fervently. Mm, unfeigned. Unfeigned. Unfeigned mean genuine and sincere. So see that you love one another with a pure heart, being earnest and being genuine, being sincere. And the church said, Amen. 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 I want to talk about have a heart. Have a heart. The church said, Amen. Um, on, on Friday, this word came to me. Um, yesterday but Friday afternoon my son and I were able to take in a ball game uh, I've never been to a game where our team act like they didn't want to play at all you got millionaires didn't want to even show up the score was 17 to 2 we were humiliated 17 to 2 get the score out the way and uh but even though the score was that bad, uh, my son and I was able to spend some time together, and that was the important thing with me. Amen? Now, uh, um, before that, there was bobblehead night. You know, the bobbleheads, and you, you know, you get the little doll in, and the head be bobbling. Cartel Marte is one of the uh, best players on our Diamondback team, so it was Cartel Marte bobblehead night. And so my son and I, 
wanted a bobblehead. As a matter of fact, he wanted it, of course, he wanted it more than I did, because <laughs> Dad could tell my tell you, bobblehead. Uh, I said, when is it? Told me when it was. So, of course, I went to take care of the tickets, and we wanted a bobblehead. In order to get the bobblehead, it was for the first 5,000 people to get there. So we had to get there early. Uh, game started at 6.40, but we showed up at, what, quarter to four? Um, blessing was we was able to park right across the street from the ballpark, so we went right out the parking lot, and Terrence, I followed him right in the spot where we were supposed to be because everybody else was over on the other side, and they had to move because an hour later, they came out and said, y'all on the wrong side, y'all got to come over here. The Terrence said, see, I didn't got the right spot. I'm like, man, thank you. I didn't have to do that much moving, and I'm going to do a sidebar on my story. And the reason why I didn't want to move y'all, because y'all first lady, y'all co-pastor, saw a swing set that she wanted. And she got to have it, and she got it Tuesday, and yours truly. Well, you know, it's that swing set that y'all put in the front of the house so y'all can just sit there and swing in the morning time and in the evening time and whenever you want to at night. Me and Lorraine was looking for it two nights ago and we couldn't find her. I said, I thought she went out the garage, though. She went out the front, though, swinging. Because Wednesday, I had to go in the garage because I couldn't put it up in the house because the thing was too big. I didn't, want, I didn't think I could get it out the door, so I had to put it together. I didn't want to go outside because it was too hot. Matter of fact, it was 100 degrees at Wednesday. So I did it in the garage from 11 o'clock till about 4. I think I finished at 4. It didn't want to cooperate with me. That's why it took so long. So she got a swing and we were able to accommodate first lady of the house. But Thursday morning, Say Thursday morning. Thursday morning. I thought I ran into a wall. My body was aching. My toenails were aching. My eyeballs were aching. The, if I had a hair on my head, it would have been aching. I ate Simon all over. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet, I ate. Now back to my story. The reason why I was able to come from the parking lot to that spot is because I could barely walk in the first place because my thighs was burning and all that. I feel much better today, praise the Lord. So if I had to get my dance on, I could do it. I was like, glory to God, because I was kind of concerned. I, I was kind of concerned. Didn't think I would be able to get my dance on if I, the way I was feeling. But standing there, in that spot, we stood there for like an hour and a half in the heat. It was 100 degrees Friday. You know it was. Praise God for shade. But we were able because when I got there, you know, there were some people already there, so y'all know me. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing today? And there was a gentleman, pop, 10 minutes later shows up, had on an Air Force cap. Of course, I thanked him for his service. He was a, a white brother, and so we began to talk. We talked about a lot of things. Come to find out he used to, well, he was in the, uh, in the war. Um, and then after the, he got out of the war, he went to California to be a, a policeman. And uh, he was a cop for the longest time. And, he was, he was bragging about how I've only been three days without a job from the time he was 13 years old. And I said, man, that, that is tremendously a blessing. That is a tremendous blessing. I said, I wish I had that experience because there's some times in my life, in between time, there were some times where I lost my job and it took a while for me to get another one. Anybody understand what I'm saying? You know, but God saw fit for this man to have a testimony that he had a job since he was 13. When he retired from being a police officer, he's a police officer, so he's a man in blue. So he upset when he hear that people want to defund the police. 
okay? And I can just move it because I don't want to tell you the whole story. Like I said, I was standing out there for an hour and a half. We had a lot to talk about. But then politics showed up. And he said, well, it's kind of hard to talk about politics nowadays, you know, because I said, hey, well, I'm good with that. You know, I could talk about politics. I said, it's unfortunate that uh, people, um, whether they're family or friends, have a problem talking about politics today because there's no love anywhere. You know, if it was genuine, fervent love, you could talk about anything. And at the end of the day, you still love me and we'll still have dialogue. Then he pretended, he proceeded to tell me about, because Terrence, I, I realize now, because Terrence asked me, how did y'all start talking about politics anyway? He started it. He said something about politics. And that's the word, the word politics showed up. But then he started talking about Colin Kaepernick. I understand how racist people are. There are black racists and there are white racists. And I understand that because in the ghetto, there's racists, because the ghetto racists are racist of the white people that are racist toward them. And in the upper part of town, they're racist just because of the color of our skin. So they are racist everyone, okay? We, we established that. But this man, he's 75 years old, mind you. Uh, talking about all the surgeries he's had, his wife just passed away last year. Of course, I ministered to him. He didn't know I was a pastor because he was cussing like a sailor. But you know, I tell y'all that all the time. Y'all just be yourself around me. Y'all ain't got to be acting like, oh, every time y'all know I'm a pastor. Just be yourself. I respect you more when you yourself, you know. And uh, so he asked me, what did my wife do? And I said, oh, my wife is... Uh, a senior director now for McDonald's. She started off as a regional controller. Then, of course, Terrence said, in, in, of embuzzment, you know, whatever that was. There's embuzzment, yes, but she's senior director in the spot that she's in. I told her that, right? She's been with them 31 years. She's always right, flipping burgers. I said, no, flipping dollars. <laughs> flipping numbers. 31 years. Yeah, she can take care of both of us. And the church said, amen. Y'all caught that, didn't y'all? Yeah. She can care, take care of me and him. Yeah, and, and the church said amen. amen. Glory to God. Now, let me keep on going with the story. He said, oh, well, you a sugar daddy then, huh? <laughs> when he said that, he thought it was funny. He said, what do you do? I said, I'm a pastor. He said, oh, Lord. <laughs> he probably was sorry that he said that I was a sugar daddy, right? And then he gonna show me his cross that he had up there on his hat. I go to some Presbyterian church. You know, he, all of a sudden he got holy and dial on me. The cussing stops. Oh. But the message came when we started talking politics because I understand that when your mind is made up, black, white, blue, green, indifferent, anything, when your mind is made up, you're going to stand on how you feel and you're not going to let up from it. Especially when it comes down to people on the right. And if you know your politics, you know who's on the left and who's on the right. For those of you who don't know, the, the Democrats is on the left and the Republicans is on the right. He's on the right. And he, being a former police officer, was upset with Colin Kaepernick. Anybody familiar with Colin Kaepernick? The former quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers who started taking a knee, for those of you who didn't know. So he had a problem with Colin Kaepernick taking a knee. And I say, well, you got to understand the reason why he did it. Instead of hear him hearing me, instead of him having dialogue about that, you know what he told me? Quote, that's beside the point, unquote. That's beside the point. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's racist people in the world, because they don't want to talk about it. I'm dead set on this is what I stand on, and you're going to stand for the flag, and you're going to sit down when you're supposed to sit down. And if you take a knee, then I got a problem with you. But then I had to tell him, well, see, you just said that 
it's kind of hard to talk to people because of politics. But that's one reason right now, because can't nobody get a word in edgewise. But that's the way we feel all the time. That's the way they feel. Take a knee, because I understood why he took the knee. What I love about me being a Republican, I can talk on both sides. See, I got enough sense to know that the election was not stolen. I'm not going to waste time trying to go back and recount something because we lost. I told them, if you really want to talk about somebody that, that got robbed in an election, go back to Al Gore, George W. Bush back in 2000. The Iron Chad, remember, remember that? The, the Chad, the, 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 that was clear cheap. But I said all of this that made me think of this message today because we have to have love in our hearts so that we can understand one another. Now get to understand me as much as I want to understand you. Hear why I have something against Colin Kaepernick, and I'll hear why you feel the way you feel. He didn't even want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about it because what they say is right and what you have to say don't matter. But I'm here to let you know what you have to say matters. Amen? Amen. What you have to say matters. And let the chip fall where they may. You know, they talk any indifferent type of way. Let them. Just let them talk. But you stand on what you believe in and stand by it. And don't let nobody say otherwise to you. Don't be afraid. You got Jesus. He's got your back. And the church said amen. So the, the scripture verse today says, Seeing ye have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently, being genuine, being sincere. Because I was being that way with him. Just met him. He was telling me about the surgeries he's had. He just had, they just took some of his stomach out because they found the, um, cancer in his colon. And um, he, he had an iron rod in his back. He was telling me about the, the, the accident he had as a cop in, in, in um, California. I forgot what part of South um, um, in, in California was. You, it was familiar. You see it on the on the movies all the time, but he was going through, but he didn't look like it. I said, look like God is taking good care of you because he was 75 years old and he looked well. But we have to have a heart. We have to have a heart. We call ourselves men and women of God. It's important for us to continue to let our light shine. And when our light shine, we're telling the world that we serve the God of love. And his name is Jesus Christ. Glory to God. The Amplified Bible reads, since by your obedience to the truth through the Holy Spirit, you have purified your hearts for the sincere affection of the brethren. See that you love one another fervently with a pure heart. Boy, it's something about that heart. Your heart's got to be pure. Purify your hearts, it says. Glory to God. And the church said amen. The heart is the most important muscle in our body. Whether you know it or not, the heart is a muscle. And in order to keep your heart in shape, you have got to use it. I'm not just talking about exercise, Simon, like Simon do. Simon like to go and get his buff on. But I'm talking about having compassion for your fellow man. When you have love and compassion for your fellow man, your heart is working. Having compassion in your heart, it's moving, it's, it's working. You're exercising it as if you were doing something physical. When you're saying, I love you, your heart is pumping. When you care about somebody, your heart is pumping. When you're looking at somebody with compassion because they're homeless or because they need something, your heart is pumping. Webster's Dictionary describes the heart as the hollow muscular organ in vertebrae that pumps blood received from the veins 
into the arteries, thereby supplying the entire circulatory system. Although the word occurs more than 900 times in the word of God, it is almost never used in a literal sense. Commonly, the heart is regarded as being the seat of the intellect. The feelings and the will, for example, every imagination of the thoughts of his heart in Genesis 6-5 would imply that intellect talking about God or or comfort ye your hearts in Genesis 18 5 or strengthen your heart would imply feeling the will would be like seeking him with the whole heart as in Psalms 119 and 2 the heart is often used to signify the innermost being the heart is used to imply affection like in the word of God, which says that it grieved him at his heart. You know why it grieved him at his heart? Because he's seen us acting up over and over and doing things not right and pleasing in his sight continually every time without fail. God was not pleased. It grieved him in his heart that he ever made us. How do you think God feels today? I just found out from Sister Scott this morning, even a cartoon got men, two men as, as, as a family in a cartoon that our children are watching. Would have never known because that person that she was talking about, I used to see it back in the day. I thought that's what she was talking about, and she was bringing it up to 2021. It grieves him. And if it grieved him back in Genesis, how do you think he feels today? Glory to God. In modern uses, the word heart is used to imply affection as I have you in my heart, found in Psalm 62.10. Even if we look at the history of the heart, the heart is a myogenic muscular organ found in all mammals with a circulatory system, including all vertebrae, that is responsible for pumping blood throughout the blood vessels by repeated rhythmic contractions. The term cardiac, as in cardiology, means related to the heart and comes from the Greek word cardia for The vertebrae heart is composed of cardiac muscles, which is an involuntary uh, straight, uh, stradient, if you will, uh, muscle tissue found only in this organ and connective tissues. The average human heart beating at 72 beats per minute will beat approximately 2.5 billion times during an average 66-year lifespan and weighs approximately 250 to 300 grams, that's 9 to 11 ounces, in females. And 300 to 350 grams, that's 11 ounces to 12 ounces, in males. The invertebrates that possesses a circulatory system, the heart is typically a tube or a small sac and pumps fluid that contains water and nutrients such as proteins, fats, and sugars. When the word of God speaks of the heart, it's not talking about the muscle that pumps blood through your body. The word of God often uses the word heart figuratively, referring to the center or core of your being. When we talk about the heart of a melon, the heart of a tree, or the heart of a problem, we are talking about the center and core of those things. When the Bible talks about the heart of man, it's talking about the center and core of man. What is man at his center or core? He is a spirit. When the Bible talks about your heart, therefore, it is really talking about your spirit, man. The Bible says that God is a spirit, and they that worship him 
must worship him in spirit and in truth. The word of God also describes the heart as having compassion for one another. Compassion is the deep feeling of sharing the suffering of another in the inclination to give aid or support or to show mercy. We, beloved, have lost our compassion for others. Hey, I'm going to say that again. We, sisters and brothers, have lost our compassion for others. We are more focused on our own problems that we don't care about the problems of others. Some of us are so concerned about money, whether you have some or not, that you can't see that God's kingdom is being put on the back burner. Everything's more important than God. Everything's more important than Jesus Christ and him crucified. Remember, mega churches were getting bigger before COVID and nothing was being done about helping the widows or helping the poor. They would rather build bigger churches than put food in the mouths of the hungry. Beloved, the time will come when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say to them on the right hand, Come, you blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. Naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was a in prison and you came to me. Then shall the righteous answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and fed you or thirsty and gave you a drink? When did we see you as a stranger and took you in or naked and clothed you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and came to see you? And the king of glory shall answer and say to them, verily I say to you, and as much as you have done it to the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. <clears throat> then shall the Father say to them on the left, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire. And that's not what we want to hear, is it? Mm, I hear you. Never. Hear that? Never. Prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you took me not in. Naked and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison and you didn't come and visit me. Then the ones on the left will ask God, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and didn't care about that? God told them, verily I say unto you, and as far as you fail to do it to the least of these, in the estimation of men or women, you fail to do it for me. Tell your neighbor, have a heart. Yeah, wake your neighbor up. Tell him, have a heart. Yeah, God is concerned about your heart today. Here in our text for today, beloved, God is saying through Peter to love one another Fervently. Remember, fervently means genuine, sincere. Mm, the love indicated here by Peter is the love of choice, the kind of love that can respond to a command. Fervently means to stretch to the limits, always constant in whatever you do. If someone is hungry, feed them. If someone is thirsty, give them something to drink. If someone needs something to wear, give them something to wear. 
Some of us could go right in our closets and bless someone with something that you have in there that you didn't even wear yet. Some of us are so selfish, all about self. Don't know how to bless anyone because you think everybody's supposed to give you something all the time. But when you have love in your heart, you can be a blessing to others without hesitation. Glory to God. Only those whose souls have been saved and trust and believe in God have the capacity to love like this. Such love exhibits itself by meeting others at the point of their needs, having respect for one another. Some of our problem is that we don't care anymore. We have gotten away from sound doctrine. And now everything that's being taught is prosperity. Now... Everybody would like to be successful. Everybody would like to be prosperous. But there's more in the word of God than just pie in the sky. Psalm 73, 26 says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the rock and firm strength of my heart and my portion forever and ever. For, for we look for men and women with statue. You know how we are. Y'all like to be around folks that, that, that y'all think got it going on. People that y'all think have statue. When y'all see them come in, let them sit at the front. And then let everybody that's homeless and raggedy make them sit in the back. But the devil is a lie. First Samuel, the 15th chapter, King Saul stopped listening to the instructions of God. Y'all remember that story? And, and so, so God told the prophet Samuel to look for another king in the 16th chapter. Samuel knew David's oldest brother, uh, Eliab, uh, uh, and thought he was surely the next king of Israel. 1 Samuel 16 and 7 says, But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance. Don't look at what he looks like on the outside. Or, or even uh, how tall he is. But... Uh, because I have refused him, for the Lord sees not as man see. For man looketh on the outer appearance, but God looketh on your heart. Tell your neighbor, have a heart. Yeah, you got to have the God kind of heart for God to be approved of what you are and what you do. And the church said amen. Yeah, beloved, aren't you glad that God's not concerned about your appearance? Some of us need to be like David and tell God to create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Some of us have a difficult time talking to each other. We have so much hate in our hearts that whatever's in your heart will come out. The Bible says, Matthews 1, 2, 3, and 4. I like to say it like that, but it's Matthew 12, 34. It says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Y'all think y'all real upset? Just hit your foot on the pew without any shoes on and you nail that long. And you tell me what's going to come out your mouth. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Your heart is a spirit. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in the physical body. You are composed of three parts. With your spirit, you contact, you contact the ram or the kingdom of God. With your spirit. When you're talking to the Lord, because God is a spirit. When you talk to the Lord, you're talking. Your spirit man is talking to the spirit man. Don't you know by now that God is a spirit? That's why it's important for us to understand when we go to the Lord, see, God is not a man that he should lie. So when you talk to God, God has all the answers that you need. And the church said, amen. amen. Jesus says in John 4, 24, God is a spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Genesis 1, 26 tells us, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. If God made us in his image, then we must be like God. Amen. God is a spirit. Therefore, we must be a spirit. God is a spirit, so when Genesis says that we were made in God's image, it means we were created as spirits. So whatever you say 
it comes from your heart. Whatever is planted there, it will come out. Just like my friend did on Friday. That's beside the point. Yeah, he was good until that time. Real nice man. Real. I didn't even think he was that way until Colin Kaepernick popped up. Oh, that's beside the point. I said, oh, here yeah, go to your. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The wolf came out. Yeah, the true colors shining through, as the song says. I see your truth. Yeah, it came through Friday afternoon. So whatever you say, it comes from your heart. Whatever is planted there, it will come out. In other words, out of the abundance of your spirit, your mouth will speak. If your mouth is not speaking right, something must be wrong with what is inside of you. The Bible says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If the mouth is not speaking, it must be because there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there for you to speak. Therefore, we can measure a man's spirit by his mouth. Of course, we should live right and act right. But sometimes people can fool you with their actions. They can seem to be one way and can actually be something else. Sooner or later, say sooner or later, sooner or later, their mouths will give them away like Doug did Friday because their mouth will speak what is in their hearts. If you have an evil heart, you cannot speak good things. So my sisters and brothers, St. John, the 14th chapter starts off by saying, let not your heart be troubled. The Amplified says. Do not let your hearts be troubled, distressed, or agitated. But it goes on to say, you believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go... And to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. The Bible says, keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. The Bible says, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. The Bible says, if thou will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made until salvation. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. I know a song that says, since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, floods of joy, oh my soul, like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart, think of your fellow man lend them a helping hand put a little love into your heart and the world will be a better place I said the world will be a better place for you and you and you and you hallelujah Give the Lord a hand praise. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. 
Amen. We got to have a heart. We got to care. Don't you care no more? You see people out there need some water. Give them something to drink. You need, they need some food. Give them something to eat. They need some clothes. Give them something to wear. Give them life. Share Jesus. That's our job. That's what we're supposed to do. And then we will hear the Lord say, Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Hallelujah. I make the rulers over many. Yeah. Glory to God. We got to have a heart. It's time out for showing the world that we're mean all the time. God's been too good for you to look like you got problems. He is the God that solves problems. He is the God that healeth thee. He's my way maker. He's my caretaker. He's my strong power in my weakest hour. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's the God I serve. We're supposed to represent him. So represent as if it's your last time. Let him know that God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the God we serve. That's what I love about God. He don't look like what I look like on the outside. He's concerned about what's going on on the inside. He's concerned about your heart. Some of us really do need to be like David and say, Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. I want the God kind of spirit. Because if you got the God kind of spirit, you just won't walk by if someone needs you. You just will be there to help in the time of need. God could. They said God could come down here. Don't you know God is a spirit? God is already down here, y'all. Whether y'all know it or not, God is down here. God didn't need Jesus. You see what I'm saying? God could have done himself. However, down here on this earth, he needed Jesus to come down here. Because you know the Bible says, y'all can't see God and live. So God had to wrap himself in human flesh and dwell among us. And we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. That's the God we serve. We got to remember that. We got to remember who we are. We got to remember whose we are. Because we are in the last day. We are the only Bible they don't see. We have to think of our fellow man and put some love in our hearts. And the world will be a better place for you and me. Just wait, as the song say. Y'all want to sing that song? I just feel it in my spirit. Let me get the words right quick. I'll start it off. Think of your fellow man. Lend him a helping hand. Put a little love in your heart. Think of your fellow man. Lend him a helping hand. Put a little love in your heart. And the world. And the world will be a better place. And the world will be a better place. 
for you and me. Just wait and see. Put a little love in your heart. Okay, here we go. Think of your fellow man. Lend them a helping hand. Put a little love in your heart. You see it's getting late. Oh, please don't hesitate. Put a little love in your heart. Y'all all know this. And the world be a better place. The world will be a better place for you and me. Just wait. The second verse says, Another day go by, still and the children cry. Put a little love in your heart. If you want the world to know, we won't let hatred grow. Put a little love in your heart. And the world will be a better place. And the world a better place for you and me. Just wait and see. Put a little love in your heart. Very first thing. Take a good look around. And if you're looking down, put a little love in your heart. I hope when you and this will be your God. Put a little love in your heart. And the world will be a better place. And the world will be a better place for you. And me. Just wait. And see. Put your hands together. Put a little love in your heart. Put a little love in your heart. Put a little love in your heart. That's all you gotta do. Put a little love in your heart. Put a little love in your heart. Put a little love in your heart. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Just put a little love in your heart. And the world will be a better place. That's all you got to do. Because God is love. Glory to God. Father in heaven, we come now, Lord, thanking and praising your name. We thank you for your love that you've given us. To make a difference in this world. Thank you, Lord, that your love is stronger than any hate that's out there. You are love. You created love. You shared your love abroad. You even said in your word that the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which was given unto us. So we thank you Lord for your love. We thank you for your Holy Spirit ruling and abiding in our hearts right now. And our Lord as we continue to live this life that we'll continue to have your love in our hearts that we might not sin against thee to make a difference in this world for the kingdom of heaven is at hand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Lord amen and amen come on give the Lord a hand praise this morning amen amen bless you bless y'all I don't know if y'all ever played that one before
See, he said no. But, but come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Give the Lord a hand praise. He ain't act like it though, did he? That's what I love about him. <laughs> yeah. Our green, I didn't know our green son that. Our green son put a little love in your heart. Well, he the pastor now. Y'all didn't know our green was pastor. You we know that, right? Y'all didn't know that? Our green is the pastor of a church in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. Glory to God for Al. Yeah, he come preach for me any day. Glory to God. Yeah. See? He, he, he always he he must like them love songs, because he got one song that said, Love and happiness. See? <laughs> they been bad. Make me want to do right. And I say, I won't go say that. It is a true fact. It's a true fact, though. Because love and happiness make you want to do right, right? Yeah, amen. Let me talk to our sisters and brothers quickly. I don't want to leave them out. Because everybody in here I know has given their life to Jesus Christ here. But I don't know you enough to know if you've given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. That same love that you're looking for out there in the world, I dare you to try the love of Jesus. Oh my God. I dare you. First of all, God loves you. He loves you. In the state you're in, he loves you. Come to him just as you are. You don't have to go and fix yourself up and put all that. No, 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 no. He knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. So before all of that, he knew you. Before the suit and the tie, he knew you. Before the dress and the pumps, he knew you. Just know that God loves you today. Let's establish that. That he loves you and he is concerned about you. The heart that we was talking about. The doorknob is not on the outside. The doorknob is on the inside. You know God, God could do anything. He can easily come up on you like he did Saul on the Damascus road and knock him off his horse. He can do that. But God loves you enough to him wanting to see you choose him today. That would be the best move you ever made. Your life will not be the same. And I'm going to tell you this before I pray with you. Don't think just because you give your life to the Lord, things going to be a pie in the sky. Everything going to be hunky-dory. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to have some good days and bad days. You're going to have some up days and down days. You're going to feel good one minute. You're not going to feel good the next. But I'd rather have all of that experience with Jesus than to not have him at all. I want to share Jesus with you today. We all know John 3, 16, and I know you heard it before too. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him, we believe in him. We won't perish. We might die physically, but we won't die spiritually. And then when Jesus comes back for us, we get to go back with him, living with him, eternal in the heavens with our glorified bodies. No more hurt, no more pain, no more backbite, no more gossiping, no more nothing, no more cancer, diseases, gone. To live forever with the Lord Jesus Christ. I am looking forward to that. I am. And I want you to share eternal life with us as well. But while you're here, you need a savior. His name is Jesus Christ. I don't care what nobody else say. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the, the creator, God Almighty. You got to come through Jesus Christ first. No Muhammad, no Confucius, no Buddha, Dalai Lama, whatever God you serve. If it's not the capital G-O-D, you're wasting your T-I-M-E. Okay? Now, if you're ready to give your life to the Lord, 
I'm ready to, to sh share this, this prayer with you. No, it's not in the Bible that you have to do it. I just want to pray with you. Pray with me. Let's pray together. All right? All right, just repeat after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, here I am. I'm your child. Thank you, Lord, for not giving up on me. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me alive to give my life back to you. Now, Lord, I know you're God. Now, Lord, I know your son, Jesus, is Savior of the world. Come into my heart. Use me for your glory. I'll share you. I'll serve you. Say, I'll serve you the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm just about to tell you, I'll share you the rest of my life. But I could have said that too. That's what I get for trying to just be a robot. But you can share the Lord Jesus Christ now because you have given your life to the Lord. Now your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Now when the Lord looks and opens the book, your name is there. Now when Jesus Christ comes back for you and us, we get to meet each other in the air. As the word of God says, I'm going I'm to tell you if I never see you down here in the earth, I'll see you on the other side. I celebrate with you today that you've given your life to the Lord. Now, wherever you are, if you want to uh, 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 know more about the Lord Jesus Christ, go and find a, ch a church that teach and preach the word of God. Wherever you are, if you want to continue to, to uh, worship with us on, on social media, you're welcome to do that. But I like for people, matter of fact, I love for people to assemble themselves together with the saints. It works for me. That's why we never shut down. When everybody else was hiding at home, we was right here getting our praise on. Yeah, and the only person that got COVID up in here was me and my son. Hey, that's just my Jesus. That's just my Jesus. And I understand why I had to get it. I had to get it to show the world that if I could get it, the Jesus that I serve will heal this body. And how you like me now? Doing real good, if I should say so myself. And I'm not going to even lie. There's times when I, the smell is not there. And it's been a year. It'll be a year for me, June 30th. There's times where, you know, I, I can I remember some things and all of a sudden it just goes right out of my head. I think that's more my age than anything else. Got a witness. <laughs> At least that's what she told me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here to let you know that I'm taking one step at a time with the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm doing well and I praise God it's, like I said it'll be a year June 30th for me so I'm all good praise the Lord I celebrate with you because you gave your life to the Lord if you're here in the valley of the sun and you want to get your praise and worship on between Bethany Home and Glendale, we are 2819 West Maryland Avenue. Our information is on the screen right now for you. Who's who I can to support you and help you, Brother John Owens, Minister John Owens? I'm calling you out because you said that I don't get a hold of you. I called you yesterday. Brother, I called you yesterday. You say I don't call you back? I called you yesterday. letting you know that. So stop talk, getting on there talking about you. I, I try to get a hold of you and I can't get back. Now see, I can talk to him like that because that's my brother. Sir, I can't do that with everybody. They'll, they'll curse me out in a nice way. But it's all good. Call me back, brother. All right. God bless you. You want to get your praise and worship on? Come on and fellowship with the Greater Faith Christian Church family. We'll love to have you to fellowship with us. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise this morning. Come on, I say give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. It's time for offering and tithes. Y'all ready? Yeah. 
I was weak. Yeah! He's looking at me like, okay, all right, it's all right. If you need an envelope, the ushers will help you to get one. It looks like everybody's ready, right? Y'all ready? Woo, woo, woo. Here, first lady. Woo, woo, woo. Come on. Woo, woo, woo. God loves a cheerful giver. There's cheerful givers in here. And even on social media. All right. We're going to go ahead and pray our offering. This is our time of worship. Worship has not stopped. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your undeserved favor as we give into your house, God. As we give, Lord, that there may be meat in your home, that there may be supplies, that there be electricity, AC, God. We give you the praise, honor, and glory that we are able to give, God, the first fruits. And we're giving our best, Lord. We're not, we're not doing the Cain experience. We're giving our best, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for those that can give and those that cannot, that had a heart to give, God. Continue to bless them, Lord. Let them know, God, that you love them in spite of. Mm, I love the, the message from the heart. So as we give, God, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. You may now give your offer. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. We got a guest in the back. Everybody want me to make sure you acknowledge. Someone told me that they see you on outreach when you be outreaching. Tell everybody your name with your beautiful smile. I'm Minister Lou. Minister Lou, yes. Hey. Hey. Oh, man. Yeah. I praise God for being here. I have had such a fight to get here. Did you? I wanted to come Mother's Day, and I was limping. Mm. Uh-oh. Um, a fight, but mm. praise God, I'm here today. Yeah, yeah. Mother's Day made 20 years mm. that I died in a car crash that flipped five times in California. Come on. And I crossed over to glory, and God sent me back. Mm. Uh -huh. My children was in that vehicle with me, and they still here, too. Mm. Come on. Ooh. So I came to praise God with you. Yeah. My sisters, yeah. Um, it's as though we've known each other forever. Amen. <laughs> when we meet on the street, we yeah. have church on the street. Bless I want heart. you to know when I walked in here, I felt the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And when he turned on that organ, I could have ran around your building. <laughs> Churches don't have the old time no more. Come on now. I miss the old time. I the know real that's church. Right. Yeah. Not this stuff we doing today. Yeah, yeah. I don't look my age, but I yeah. thank God 
that he has kept me. Amen. 57 years. 57 years. That God has allowed me mm. to be here. Amen. So coming back, I made up in my mind, I'm going to go get as many souls Come on. as I can snatch out of hell. I know that's right. Because you came after me, so it's on. I know that's right. It's on. I know that's right. And that's where you would find Jesus was in the street. Yeah. That's where you'll find me. Amen. In the street. Yeah. I was like, God, I got to get there. I didn't know what time you started. Right. I'm out in Mesa. Are you? But I said, I'm going to get there. If I come oh. on a benediction and shout out to God, I was there. <laughs> so Amen. I praise God for being here. I'll be back. I'll bring some more people with me. Amen. Because there's a lot of more people I know, I know that need to hear some old time Jesus. I know that right. I know that right. I miss that old time. Y'all done started up in here. I'm going to leave here and go down the street and tell some more people. I know that right. go with me. <laughs> I praise God for the spirit that is on your pastor. Bless you. A humble heart. God Bless told me today was love. Amen. And I want you to know that it was love. Yeah. That touched me in that park. Mm. Your sisters, yeah, yeah, yeah. They loved on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hugged me. Yeah, they did. I know. And they've been keeping up with me. I know that's right. That don't happen these days. I know. And I praise God for what you're teaching here. I praise the Lord. I want to encourage you. Keep doing what you're doing. Amen. You got some prayer words. You got your back now. Oh, yeah. I know. So, <laughs> we're going to keep praying for what you're doing here. Amen. And I thank you for inviting me. And again, like I said, I'll be back. And I'm going to see you on this side yeah, and, and that side. side. I got you. God bless you. God bless you. Tell everybody what church you attend. Oh, man. I'm from the church of heaven. Okay. So, you so go. I go where the Jesus sends me. Got gotcha. you. As an evangelist, God sends you here and yeah, yeah, yeah. he sends you there. Yeah. And he'll send me somewhere for a season. Yes, ma'am. But when a lot of these pastors, I'm not calling names and I'm not Don't pointing no fingers. Because I probably know you're talking but about But when anyway. you turn your back and start being Saul and do it your way. Come on. I got to go. I know that's right. Because I'm not here to build up a name of man. Right, right. I'm here to build up the name of Jesus see? Christ. And because I already crossed over and seen the other side. Mm. Not like Martin Luther King. I understand. God showed it to him in his heart. Yes, ma'am. But I crossed over. Yeah. And yeah. I got so many surgeries that I laid in that hospital mm -hmm. being redone by myself with yeah. just me and Jesus. My mom. That he, they put me back together again like Humpty Dumpty after that car crash. Yeah, yeah. But I want you to know I'm here to build up the name of a real man named Jesus Christ. I'm not here to build up no church and make right. no brand and no that. name. Yeah. If you start doing that, I'm out. Yeah. I got to go finish what he sent me back here to do because tomorrow ain't promised to you. I was sitting in church service at 7.30 a.m. Yeah. and they pronounced me dead Come on. at 7.30 p.m. And I want you to know that woke me up even though I was doing ministry and I was doing things for God. Oh, that little fire up under my feet that we ain't got much time. Yeah. The time is winding up. Yeah. If you see that I'm bombed Israel, you see what's going on in the media, yeah. open your eyes. Stop playing church. Yeah. Stop thinking it's okay because you went to a building yeah. because I was in that hospital by myself. I didn't have no pastors coming to visit me. Yeah. I had to know a real God. Yeah. I laid in that hospital with tears rolling down my face. Yeah. I don't have no mom and no daddy. Yeah. I come from foster care. Yeah. I come from foster homes. Yeah. I can tell you my story, yeah. but I want to tell you the glory yeah. of a real man named Jesus Christ. Yeah. And wherever church he sends me to, yeah. I run in and I look for Jesus is in here yeah. if you really love the man yeah. that I love oh women we can share this man yeah. his man is Jesus yeah. I could go on and on pastor on. but I just want you to know that there's a real God yeah. and it don't matter about the seats yeah. because the seat that matter is this your seat in heaven or is your seat in hell yeah. I praise God today that my seat was not in hell yeah. in spite of the mistakes I made in spite of the wrong decisions I made. Yeah. There's a merciful God yeah. that said, no, go back. Yeah. I got something for you to do. Yeah. And after I seen him, oh my God, the peace over there. I said, Jesus, I don't want to go back. Can we just stay here, Lord? Even if I'm at your feet like a dog, 
I'll stay right there, yeah. but don't send me back. And he said, no, go back. Yeah. I got something for you to do. Yeah. I'm still not quite sure yeah. what that something is, Pastor, yeah. 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 but I do know, I know the word. Yeah. And it said, go ye out into all the world and yeah. compel men to come. That's our reasonable service. Yeah. We don't get no medal for going out to the street. That right. was a command, yeah. and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be found saluting my Savior. Yeah. I did what you said. Yeah. I did what you told me to do. Yeah. I gave a cup of water. Yeah. I gave a bag of chips. Yeah. I gave a pair of shoes. Yeah. I gave a hug. Yeah. I gave some encouragement. Ooh. And when I ain't had no money, I gave a hug. God bless you, God and bless I'll be you. back. God bless you. Come on, give the Lord a hand, praise. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Hey. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand, praise with my sister. Hey. Glory to God. She set the atmosphere on fire. Oh my God, today. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. All hearts and minds clear? Come on, let's stand and let's go. Glory to God. Woo! <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. Woo, Jesus! Thank you. Hey. All right. Father, we thank you for this awesome worship experience. We thank you for every testimony that went forth. We thank you for the word that went forth, Lord, that it will not return to you void. We thank you, Lord, that we were able to praise you, God, lift our hands, God, and say hallelujah, Lord. We thank you that you are in the midst. Now, God, as we leave this place with never your face or your presence, we ask you to be with us, guide us, and lead us, Lord, and bless our families, God. Meet the needs of your people. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Shake somebody's hand. Tell them God bless you as you leave this place. Glory to God.